Hey guys, Exit Sign TV here, and it's time for Exit Sign Setup 10. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So, on the phone, or whatever you want to call it, I have NJMoo3652. I know you're supposed to say that, but whatever. Hi. Yep, there it is, just sitting, you know. Um, so yeah, so we are now in double digits. Yay. So, um, so yeah, you're happy. Okay, um, so I do have some slight changes with everything, which is cool. So, let's go ahead and get started. So up here above my door, we have the Utilitech uh, exit sign, green. Typical, you see these things everywhere, you know. And it works, thankfully. Over here, we have something new. Well, not a unit new, but it moved it over. I went ahead and moved this over because something actually happened. Um, before this one was up. Yes. I had my uh, Starbucks combo, um, aka the Big Beam combo knockoff, and I had it sidewall mounted because you can do that, and you can kind of see where it, the head, one of the heads left the mark, because like one was up here, then one was down here, and I went to the pool and, and I came back and I heard a big bang sound, and I came in here and this thing was hanging because it ripped off the wall, which isn't good. Um, I mean, those combos can be sidewall mounted. But it fell, it failed for me. So I had to move the sign over, sadly. I don't like it, like for at least for an exit sign slash combo, because, you know, I think it looks too far away, but I guess it's fine. So this is the Exit Light Company, uh, I think it's like Combo Q2 or something like that. Strange model. And I fell. And, um. Basically, just by the Exolite company. So, this is full LED, and let's give it a test. And it works, of course. Um, so, we have this head pointed over there, and then the other head pointing kind of over there. Um, so, yeah. And now, in the spot over my desk, we have nothing. I lied. Okay, so we got... I went ahead, because since I moved that one, I'm like, you know what, I should move this so i moved it up to actually an official height so here we have the lithonia eu2 led kind of cool here so it's actually at a good height which is really nice so it kind of moved it up so i'm gonna put out my hand so that's really small so now we put it up small it's really low so now we put it up and i went ahead and attempted to patch it up so let's give it a test and it works great so we have this head right here pointed at the doorway then the other head kind of pointed over here so there it is all right so now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna turn off my lights and simulate a power outage so let's go ahead and do that just because i wanted to show you this uh these don't really look the brightest but green signs in the dark are really bright um, but kind of like a nightlight almost, so it's pretty hard to sleep. I know you can't really tell on camera, but these things are really bright. Yeah, you pretty much flood your entire room with just bright green light, especially for LED. Yeah. Um, but you know, I've had to deal with it for like two weeks. And as well as the my fire alarm screen, which is also green. And as well as a green LED, <laughs> so you know, we have green everywhere. You know, I'll have to deal with uh, something green pretty soon. Something um, it may or may not be, uh, it may be fire related, it might be exercise related, but I'll have, to, I'll have to deal with the green light shining pretty soon. Yeah, you will. And we also have a green clock. Um, so now, let's go ahead and put it in emergency mode. Alrighty, so now we are in emergency mode. So everything is bright, except that, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So everything is going good and strong. So, um, we have this over here to lighten up. Oh, it's for some reason over here. Exit sign. Pillow. And then, um, you can walk this way. And then this one takes over. And shines at the door. And you can easily get out. And also see the exit sign, too. So there's everything. Right there. And now, let's go ahead and go into the kitchen. 
real quick. <clears throat> All right, so now in my kitchen, we have the E-top lighting uh, generic black really dim full LED combo. So I have this head pointed basically right here and the other one kind of here. There it is. So let's go ahead. I don't want to unplug it because I'm too lazy to go back there, but I'll give it a test for you guys. There it is. It looks bright on camera, but it really isn't. So there it is. Yeah, so there it is. Um, and here's MJ Moo 3652. So we'll go ahead and mute him. There he is. All right, so now let's go to my garage. So he's still, I, th I hope he's still alive. Hi. Yeah, he's still alive. I'm still here. All right. So if you can take a guess. Look what's down there. Can you tell what's there? Um, it's pitch black in here, obviously. So something is over there. Pretty legit. Legit master 300. It, it, it belongs in the garage. Yes, it does. That's your intent. So still, that light is having a stroke. So you know. Um. Anyway, so I do not have an emergency light over there for this one because I really don't think I need it. But here's what I do have, and my camera doesn't focus. Come on. There we go. So, if you could tell, I have my Lithonia Quantum uh, uh, incandescent exit sign, no AC only, and then we have something that belongs in here, and that is my Lithonia lighting um, weatherproof emergency light that I got from that one hotel. Um, sadly, the reason you don't see more of this uh, emergency light is because it takes 12 volts for its battery backup, and I don't have a 12 volt battery other than my fire alarm panel, and I don't want to use it for this. Um, so I used two 6 volts and jumped them together from my, a couple of my combos to use it, so that's why I only see this thing only so often. But this is fully weatherproof, so it can take heat, cold, etc. Um, but this, I just threw out here because it's just light bulbs inside of it. Nothing like circuitry or anything. So yeah, this is really bright and it also has simple self-diagnostics. So if it is um, green like this, if it's green, like just like this without testing it, that means it's all charged and ready to go. If it's green while testing, that means the battery is at a good charge and everything looks good in emergency mode. If it's red just like this, if you're not testing it, that means the battery is charging. If it's red when you're testing it, that means something's wrong with the emergency mode. And I do think if it's red blinking when you're not testing it, that means something's just failing inside. So, yeah. It's bright. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn off the lights. Like that. Oh shoot, first, I forgot to mention how I adjusted everything. So only thing with these, you there's a limited adjustment. Meaning, you can't. it's almost like the Charlotte's LPX combo or emergency light. You can only adjust it at a certain amount of ways. Um, well, other than the show light one having a never mind. So I have this head to the right, pointed right over here at the stairwell. Then I have this one pointed kind of in this area if this car wasn't here. So let's go ahead and turn off the lights. What if I can find the switch? There we go. And now let's go ahead and unplug it so you can look at my iPad. And time for brightness. All right, so as you can see, it is pretty bright. You can actually see up here, this is probably a first for any emergency light that's been up there. You can actually see you got this little walkway thing. As you can see, at the stairs, and surprisingly, you can see at the door, kind of. And then we can see over here, kind of. And so there it is. Look, look how bright this is. This is almost like, this is probably a little, and this is for you too, NJ. Um, this is probably a little bit brighter than an ELM2 LED. Just a little bit yeah, brighter. For those of you who don't know, the LM2 LEDs are extremely bright. Now these are extremely bright, but this is just. A, yeah, exactly. So this is just, and I think this is already a heavy duty emergency light, even though they make a heavy er duty version of this. Because it can go outside and is meant for like when it's light outside too. Like this was in a parking garage. So this is, real, this is almost literally like the sun. So now let's go ahead and turn on the lights and see how well it does with the lights on. So first thing you can really notice, it is kind of lighting up my dad's tire for his car. And, you know, 
and also still is lighting up here so you can still see a shadow so yeah anyways guys i think that is basically it i hope you enjoyed uh comment below if you want the this emergency light to return in the garage somewhere if i ever get another 12 volt battery but from time to time if i'm not using any six volt combos i'll be sure to throw this one out here um, so anyways, that's it. Um, do you have anything else to say? Nope, but um, I really like the setup in this one. Thank you. Um, so make sure you check out uh, his channel. It's NJMooth 652 um, And he's getting something new. Yes, I am. Soon. That's all we're going to say. If you guys want to guess, just, um, I don't know, leave a comment on my latest video and try guessing. Probably won't tell if you tell you if you're right but it's pretty entertaining to see everybody's guesses yeah but it's gonna be it's going it's a pretty big game changer yes it is and it could be with exit signs or fire alarms mm -hmm. anyways so that is basically it oh and before we go i'll show you the um i'll show you it the red light on when you plug it back in since it's been off and there's actually a huge relay inside of it too so as you can see now it is red because it's charging and I'm too short to test it. Because if I would test it right now, it would go green and let you know everything's fine. At least with the emergency mode. So, alright guys, I guess that's basically it. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I guess I will see you guys in another video. Bye.